We saw reaching Kern County and now Houchin Blood Bank has added a Zika screen test to all donations there. 23 ABC's Ivan Rodriguez visited Houchin today for a closer look at that process. I'm here at Houchin Community Blood Bank where people come to donate their blood. After about a two-day process, they will know their blood type as well as if they have any diseases or infections, including Zika. Yesterday was our first day to begin testing all blood samples for Zika virus. Houchin Community Blood Bank sent out 19 samples to be tested, and this evening, the results returned without Zika. 17-year-old and 16-year-olds who are minors under California law must have a parental permission slip now. That's a big change because 17-year-olds didn't used to have to have one. The kids that donated yesterday were able to find the form on our website and present the correct form. Only volunteers can donate blood. Donors not only contribute toward others in need, but also benefit from receiving test results on 14 different infections and diseases, including Zika. They will also figure out their blood type. They are getting all these tests on their blood for free, as well as a mini physical, because we have to do all that and test their iron, for example, until we can determine that they are indeed a good candidate for blood donation and that what they're going to be providing that day is going to make it to a patient and be safe for the patient. If a donor's blood test positive for any disease or Zika, they are contacted by Houchin and told to go to either a doctor as well as providing more voluntary work on their blood. Someone that is determined to be positive for Zika will be invited to participate if they so wish in a further analysis of their blood through this clinical trial that's going on. That sample is later discarded and does not go to any patient. Ivan Rodriguez, 23 ABC.